Festival, where we get to know our favorite celebs for their incredible skills beyond the small screen. You know our next guest as the groomer on Queer Eye. Take a look. Ulysses S. Grant? Yes. Yes, I Queen. Was I know. I was literally trying to channel him, but if he was alive in 2017 and with all sorts of fly style. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me today. Uh, you know, I really have not yet done stand up when like the sun was out, you know, so that's like, it's a different, you know, audience, but that's okay. Because I think one thing that we can all agree about is that things are scary. Learning stand up is scary, but nothing is scarier than when your cell phone, you look down and she's at 1%. <laughs> Everything goes slow motion. We're sprinting to the charger. You see it, it's coming. You're like, just please don't. I just really need you to hold on a little bit more, sweetie, please. No. <laughs> Everyone's safe. So, you know, I hope that, like, whatever is going on for you, I hope that it comes through clutch, like, you know, getting your cell phone charger when you need it. And thanks so much for having me today, you guys. Thank you. Come Jonathan, come on over. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, see you. Uh, Today. So, 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 Jonathan, reality star side hustle. You chose comedy, which is one of the toughest things I could ever imagine. Oh my so, gosh, my oh, oh, yeah. head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so why choose comedy? Well, here's the thing. I think I was kind of a natural born performer for. What I, made you think that? Catch you by surprise. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I just, there's something about it. Um, but Margaret Cho is a really dear friend of mine, and I started oh, working with, I, she's like one of my. She's just one, someone who I, you know, I really looked up to, and she kind of got me into being very a big fan of stand-up com comedy. And when I started working with her as a, like, as my hair client, she's like, you know, you should really get into this. And then, you know, Gay of Thrones kept happening, and then I kept working. Thank Game you. Of Thank you. Um, but you know, I kept kind of working, and, and things kept happening more in front of the camera. And then one day, like I'm, I had posted once or twice, and I was kind of trying it. I, I think I got bit by the comedy bug. Mm -hmm. And then Hotels.com was like, sends you this little email, and they're like, "We love that you're this cheerleader for people. Like, want us to be your cheerleader for a little comedy tour?" And I was like, "Absolutely." Uh, wow. <laughs> Jonathan, are you a little child? I'm a youngest. I'm yes. even worse. Okay, because I, I have theories on birth order. You pegged me as, I pegged you as a middle child, but whoa. In my family, the middle child's very, like, you know, uh... Not he's bitten a, by the comedy He's dog. very peacemaker. He's very, you know, just kind of... He's he's loud and funny when you need him to be, which is not me. I feel like, I think I'm more just... Loud and funny, period. Yeah, and there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You turned around the country and did this for an upcoming digital series. What was the scariest part? Um, yes, good question. Um, I think the scariest moments for me were, like, uh, where I would do like drop in sets on other people's shows. Like when I go for my shows and it's like, you know, they're coming to see me and yeah. so it's not so much scary. But when I was doing like surprise sets on other people's shows, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like me. I hope I just don't think I'm good at this. <laughs> I find you super charming, so I have a feeling yeah. they enjoyed you. Thank you. And you, you have a lot of fans out there, one being Claire Foy. Uh, Claire from The Crown is a Woo! big fan of yours. Yeah. <laughs> And so, so talented. And she, she said you helped her sneak into a party one time, but have you ever had to sneak into a party or anything? Look, I'm not condoning this behavior. I think it's very, you know, important to not sneak, you know. You should be on a list. However, I did one time, was not on the list when I needed to be, and my friend was wearing a very outrageously huge, like, uh, ball gown, like, very huge, and so I was able to just do a little, like, Oh my gosh, do it, do it. Do no, I just like literally went like that. I'm done. <laughs> and I got in this this way. My knees were burning, but I made it. Oh god, that must have been you're tall. That's a big gown. It, no, well, that is it was, it wasn't, it was, it was a, she was a very amazing, she's a very amazing female impersonator. So, you know, we were, we were giving drag moments. That's so her dress was, was even bigger. Yeah, so I was really able to, there was definitely a compartment for me to so live in. So there was in. room, it was like a yes. studio apartment. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> well, you know, we want to thank you for stopping thank by. Thank you so much for having me. Congrats, congrats on the show. Mm. And, and, and make sure you check out the series. Oh yeah, we're going to check it out. We're going to tell everybody else to check it November out too. 12. I'm so excited, yeah. So Jonathan Van Ness, there's, you can check him out. Check out his series. You're going to laugh a lot, I guarantee you that. And there's more GMA update uh, coming up after the break. But first, we got an exclusive look at Hotels.com Comedy Presents 10 Nights with Jonathan Van Ness. So you check it out right now. Um, 
And it was gorgeous. I feel like everyone just like really lived into their potential. The crowd was really, really nice. Did I make it all the way in my heels? Maybe. I'm glad you can't see my feet right now. Imagine that I did. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.